Hey guys, good evening. I'm in New York City today and I'm so sleepy, which is normal since our new baby Era is only two months old and he wants to eat every couple hours and I'm nursing him around the clock. But he is so sweet and so lovely and way more than worth it. And in case you've been wondering why we haven't posted in a while, it's because of my new little love. He's awesome. Today I woke up early and went to the office of Octum Records here in New York City and we talked about making new music sometime in the near future. Um, we happened to be in town because we're currently on the Reset Tour. We decided to do this tour because of many reasons, one of them being the fact that the two most frequently asked questions I've gotten from you guys have been about number one, my faith, and number two, about suicide and depression. So this tour, Josh and I, um, for us, it's not about music. It's about a chance to share a story with you in person and talk to you more in depth about my faith and to get to meet you afterwards when I can. Um, this tour is really specific for that. It's not really about new music. Um, so if you're coming for that, uh, you're not really going to hear much from us. But um, if you want to know more about our faith and about my story, then you'll hear about that. Um, it's really been life changing for me in a lot of ways. Um, I get to I get to tour with some amazing people. One of the artists that we're touring with, his name is Propaganda, and he's this really cool guy who does challenging spoken word pieces and hip hop. Um, there's another artist called Morgan Harper Collins. She's this cool girl who plays guitar and sings with all her heart and another artist named Matt Gilman who can literally give you chills when he's absentmindedly singing I'm a little teapot and no joke I experienced this when I was hanging out with him in the same room where I was making myself some hot tea <laughs> so um and then there's an awesome band with beautiful Irish people called the Wren Collective and they just, when they play, they just make you so happy to be alive. It's crazy. My favorite member is the little pregnant girl who plays the accordion. Um, she's just way, way cool off stage and on. Um, and then there's a guy named Nick Hall who's become a great friend to me and my family. And he comes out and he talks about the purpose of Reset and about our faith. Um, he has a just challenges me a lot with his messages. I've been listening to them every night um, and I'm super challenged to really live my life to the full in a really beautiful way. Um, so it's awesome to be out with them. And my husband Josh has been playing guitar with a house band which is led by an artist named Dave Lubin who my two-year-old has gotten us all to call his, his new nickname, Dave's nickname is Uncle Luby. That's what Jack calls him. And um, and that's what we all call him now. And he's one of the funnest, uh, greatest people. He's just lovely. And um, he has really great stories. Maybe one day I'll interview him for you guys. You can hear some of them. And so what Josh and I do is we go out and I, we sing a, I sing a couple songs. Josh plays guitar and then I tell my story of how God rescued me when I was 16 years old as an atheist planning to commit suicide. Um, so it's been a lot of fun and a really crazy journey so far because uh, it's kind of one of those things where you never know what's going to happen from day to day, um, which is so just so cool to me because it leaves you open for adventure. And we're definitely on an adventure with this um, but to all of you who've been asking about a new CD, we just wanted to let you know that we are working on that. And if we make plans for new music in the future, we're going to let you know what's going on along the way. So sorry about the um, lack of updates, um, but I'm really happy to let you know my son's here and uh, my new baby has taken up a lot of my time, which I'm so thankful for. And... Uh, yeah, and if we see you out on this tour, great. And if we don't get to, uh, we'll probably be seeing you sometime in the future. Thanks so much for your support and your love and your patience and your prayers. And um, we're, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye.